Azura, Daedric Prince of Dusk and Dawn. Of the sixteen Daedric Princes, deific spirits, mostly regarded as either gods or demons, Azura is one of the most prolific and important on Tamriel. Being a principal deity for two separate civilizations, and playing an important role in the events of the Elder Scrolls III Morrowind, Azura is easily among the most recognizable names in the Daedric Pantheon. Although the 16 powerful Daedric Lords are often referred to as princes, they are gender-neutral spirits, although Azura is most commonly depicted and described as a female. In addition, she seems to choose to speak and appear in a female form when she does make an appearance on Tamriel. Azura is the Prince of Dusk and Dawn, and represents change and transition. Her Realm of Oblivion, alternate dimensions of existence ruled by the Daedric Princes, is Moonshadow. Moonshadow is a beautiful realm of twilight that is filled with rose gardens, silver cities, and vistas of waterfalls and trees. It's said that in Moonshadow, the wind and rain carry perfume across the realm and colors blur together, to the point where mortals are left half-blinded by the experience. Azura is often regarded as one of the few Daedric princes that seem to be good, at least in the minds of her worshippers. According to one Daedra worshipper, Azura is the only Daedric lord that seems to care about her followers, wanting their genuine love rather than using them for her own purposes, like other princes. Although she has a reputation for being merciful, her wrath can be just as swift and horrible as the rest of the Daedra if brought to anger. In the early days of history, when the Aldmer first began to spread across Tamriel, Azura was one of three Daedric princes that a group of Aldmer began to worship and view as the good Daedra. These Aldmer, who had come to be known as the Chimer, were taught by Azura on how to be different than the other elves. When the Chimer's war with the Dwemer Elves reached a climax, and the Dwemer suddenly disappeared, Nerevar, the Chimer war leader, called on Azura to ask her what should be done with the Dwemer's magical tools. The tools were capable of handling the Heart of Lorcan, an immensely powerful divine artifact. Nerevar went on to command his three counselors to never use the tools on the Heart, with Azura as a witness to their oath. After Nerevar's death, the three did eventually use the tools to give themselves a divine spark, causing Azura to curse the Chimer people, turning them into the dark-skinned Dunmer. The three divine Dunmer became living gods for the majority of the Dunmer race, but Azura proclaimed a prophecy that a reincarnated Nerevar would return to exact punishment on the three. Many centuries later, Azura would help guide the Nerevarin prophecies to come true, severing the tribunal's connection to godhood and bringing about a return of the Dunmer's worship of Azura and other Daedra. For the Khajiit, Azura is the principal deity involved in their creation. According to their beliefs, Azura chose one of the mortal races of Tamriel, likely the Bosmer, and gave them three gifts, changing them into the Khajiit. These three gifts included being the best climbers in the world, being the best deceivers in the world, being the best survivors in the world, as well as being the fastest, cleverest, and most beautiful. Azura also made it so that the Khajiit's birth and development was tied to the cycle of the two moons, demonstrating her power over change and transition. Each Daedric Prince has one or more artifacts present on Tamriel, crafted by each prince and with part of their power contained within. Azura's artifact is an intricately designed gemstone with eight prongs surrounding it, known as Azura's Star. Azura's Star is capable of holding onto any creature's soul, except for sentient humanoids such as men or elves or greater Daedra. It is supposedly possible for her artifact to be corrupted, or changed in some way to allow the capture of any soul. Azura's star has passed through the hands of numerous owners over the centuries, and will likely continue to be present on Tamriel for years to come. 
Of the many Daedric princes in the Elder Scrolls franchise, Azura is certainly a unique one, due to her worship among multiple races and her active participation in mortal affairs. While whether or not Azura is good can depend on perspective, we certainly have evidence of her appearing to help mortals, and that's good enough for some. 